Hi, welcome to this lecture segment on the anatomy of uh, the external abdominal oblique muscle of uh, the bovine animal. My name is uh, Dr. Humphrey Simcoco. In this video, I will talk about uh, the anatomy of the external abdominal oblique muscle. So, at the end of this segment on the anatomy of uh, the ruminant external abdominal oblique muscle, you will be able to describe the structure of uh, the external abdominal oblique muscle, state the actions of the external abdominal oblique muscle, state the nerve supply and blood supply of this muscle, name the anatomical structures that are related to the external abdominal oblique muscle, briefly explain the comparative anatomy of the external abdominal oblique muscle. So here now I'll talk about uh, the description of uh, the external abdominal oblique muscle in terms of uh, its uh, structure and also I will give uh, other attributes of the muscle in terms of its origin, insertion, action, innervation and uh, blood supply. The external abdominal oblique muscle is uh, the most extensive of uh, the abdominal muscles. It is uh, normally described as a broad sheath which is irregularly triangular in shape. Uh, this muscle passes ventrally and uh, caudally, meaning that uh, its fibers are directed uh, caudoventrally. In the area of uh, the paralumbar fossa, the muscle fibers of uh, this muscle tend to run uh, in a horizontal manner. The muscle fibers do not reach the coxal tuber in the ox, whereas in the goats, the muscle fibers almost reach the coxal tuber. In terms of its origin, the muscle originates from uh, the caudal border and uh, the lateral surface of uh, the last eight ribs and also from the fascia over the intercostal muscles. And the costal origin is uh, normally by digitations and uh, these digitations uh, alternate with those of uh, the serratus uh, ventralis thoracis. The muscle inserts by means of uh, aponeurotic tissue to the coxal tuber and also to the prepubic tendon and uh, the linear alba. The aponeurosis of uh, this muscle blends with uh, the aponeurosis of uh, the underlying internal abdominal oblique muscle. The muscle acts along with other abdominal muscle in uh, compressing the abdominal viscera in what is referred to as uh, the abdominal press during uh, processes such as uh, defecation, urination and also parturition. It also acts in the flexion and the bending of uh, the vertebral column. The nerve supply for this muscle is uh, from the muscular branches of the first two lumbar nerves, also from the lateral cutaneous uh, femoral nerve, and uh, the last four or five intercostal nerves, and uh, the costal abdominal nerve. The blood supply to this uh, muscle, or the arterial blood supply, is from the lumbar and dorsal intercostal arteries, and also from the cranial branch of the deep uh, circumflex iliac artery. So those are the attributes of uh, the external abdominal oblique muscle. So to what structures uh, is the external abdominal oblique muscle related to? Various tissues are related to and come in contact with the external abdominal oblique muscle in the ruminant animals. On its uh, superficial side, the external abdominal oblique muscle is uh, related to the following structures. There is the skin on the outside. Then uh, there is also the superficial fascia. There is also the cutaneous tr trunchi. And uh, there is also the cutaneous branches of uh, the thoracic and uh, lumbar nerves. And also we have the abdominal tunic. So these are the structures that are related to the external abdominal oblique muscle on its superficial side. On the deep side, the external abdominal oblique muscle is related to the internal abdominal oblique muscle. So that is the only structure that is related to it on the deep side. The superficial inguinal ring is formed uh, within the external abdominal oblique muscle as a slit in the aponeurosis of uh, the muscle cranial to the pubis. In terms of uh, comparative anatomy, in the goat, or the caprine species, and uh, in the region of uh, the paralumbar fossa, the muscle fibers are horizontal in uh, direction and they extend uh, from the last rib to the coxal tuber. While in the ox, or the bovine species, 
the muscular portion extends only as far caudally as the fourth lumbar vertebra, and therefore the attachment of the muscle to the coxa tuba is largely by an aponeurotic attachment. So those are the relations and uh, the comparative anatomy of uh, the external abdominal oblique muscle. Now this is a drawing of uh, the goat lying on its uh, right side, or in it is in a right lateral recumbency, with the skin removed exposing some abdominal muscles. In this drawing, the external abdominal muscle is shown together with other muscles such as the internal abdominal oblique muscle and also the serratus muscles. You can see that uh, the external abdominal oblique muscle originates from the last eight ribs or so via digitations which alternate with those of the serratus ventralis thoracis. So as the muscle courses caudally, it becomes the aponeurotic and then it inserts onto the coxal tuber, the prepubic tendon and uh, the linear alba. You have now come to the end of uh, this lecture segment on the anatomy of uh, the external abdominal oblique muscle of uh, the ruminant animals. Therefore, you should be able to describe the structure of the external abdominal oblique muscle, state the actions of the external abdominal oblique muscle, state the nerve supply and blood supply of the external oblique muscle, name the anatomical structures that are related to the external abdominal oblique muscle, Briefly explain the comparative anatomy of the external abdominal oblique muscle. Thank you for watching and listening.